Chemical equation When a magnesium ribbon is burnt in oxygen, it gets converted to magnesium oxide. This description of a chemical reaction in a sentence form is quite long. The simplest way to do this is to write it in the form of a word equation. Magnesium plus oxygen produce magnesium oxide. The left-hand side of a chemical equation represents the reactants. And the right-hand side represents the products. Is there any other shorter way for representing chemical equations? Representation of chemical reaction using symbols and formulae of the substances is called chemical equation. Chemical equations were first formulated by the French chemist Jean Bégin in the year 1615. If you recall formulae of magnesium, oxygen, and magnesium oxide, the above word equation can be written as the reactants and the products can be separated by one of the following four symbols. In order to describe a net forward reaction, this symbol is used. In order to describe a state of chemical equilibrium, this symbol is used. To denote stoichiometric relationships, this symbol is used. In order to describe a reaction that occurs in both forward and backward directions, this symbol is used. A few examples of chemical equations are listed below. A chemical equation is a way to represent the chemical reaction in a concise and informative way. A chemical equation can be divided into two types. First one is, balanced chemical equation. A balanced chemical equation has the number of atoms of each element equal on both sides. Here is an example. In this equation, numbers of zinc, hydrogen and sulfate are equal on both sides, so it is a balanced chemical equation. Second one is, unbalanced chemical equation. If the number of atoms of each element in reactants is not equal to the number of atoms of each element present in the product, then the chemical equation is called unbalanced chemical equation. For example, in this example, a number of atoms of elements are not equal on two sides of the reaction. So it is a unbalanced chemical equation. Thanks for watching.